the practice of digital india digital india an introduction and background the digital india program is a flagship program of the government of india with a vision to transform india into digitally empowered society and knowledge economy e governance initiatives in india took a broader dimension in the mid 1990s for a wider sectorial applications with an emphasis on citizen centric services the major ict initiatives of the government included entralia some major projects such as railway computerization land record computerization etc which focused mainly on the development of information systems later on many states started ambitious individual e governance projects aimed at providing electronic services to citizens although these e governance projects were citizen centric they could make less than the desired impact due to their limited features the isolated and less interactive systems revealed major gaps that were discouraging the successful adoption of e governance along the entire spectrum of governance they clearly pointed to us the need for a more comprehensive planning and implementation for the infrastructure required to be put in place interoperability issues to be addressed etc to establish a more connected government e kranti national e governance plan 2.0 the national level e governance program called national e governance plan was initiated in 2006 there were 31 mission mode projects under national e governance plan covering a wide range of domains such as agriculture land records health education passports police courts municipalities commercial taxes treasuries etc 24 mission mode projects have been implemented and started delivering either full or partial range of envisaged services considering the shortcomings in national e governance plan that included lack of integration among government applications and databases low degree of government process reengineering scope for leveraging emerging technologies like mobile cloud etc government of india has approved the e kranti program recently with a vision of transforming e governance for transforming governance all new and ongoing e governance projects as well as the existing projects which are being revamped should now follow the key principles of e kranti namely transformation and not translation integrated services and not individual services government process reengineering to be mandatory in every mmp ict infrastructure on demand cloud by default mobile first fast tracking approvals mandating standards and protocols language localization national gis that is geo spatial information system security and electronic data preservation the portfolio of mission mode projects has been increased from 31 to 44 many of new social sector projects namely women and children development social benefits financial inclusion urban governance e bhasha etc have been added as new mmps for the new e kranti project